1998, three major cities of the country, Gyumri, Spitak and Vanadzor, were shaken. The whole country of Armenia was shaken with Armenians facing the abyss, countless victims, injured and homeless. In the morning of December 7th, Anichka Palyan, like all the other days, was on her way to work. Working as a midwife, she had helped countless mothers to deliver their babies and had witnessed the tears of joy. Little she knew that yet this other normal day was going to be fatal for her and many others. The sudden jolt and the consequent darkness was nothing less than an earthquake, leaving her beneath the ruins of the hospital. Only on the third day, she was unearthed from beneath the rubbles and taken to the hospital in the capital. Afterwards, she was taken to Moscow, where she remained in coma for more than a year. Anichka was able to overcome it and stay alive against all odds. Her journey, nevertheless, was not over. She was then taken to the US to undergo a number of surgeries to get transplants and treatment before she would finally come back home, a sweet city, Gyumri, where Anishka was going to have a new apartment and new life. I do not consider myself a disabled. Frankly speaking, when people call me disabled, I ask them how do they know. I tell them, look at my house, there is nothing which can indicate any disability. Anishka's story is not unique. The earthquake left many elderly people, children and adults alone in need with a lot of health-related issues. It was then and there that Mission Armenia, a local NGO, targeted these individuals and started thinking of ways for recuperation. Amongst despair and anguish, Mission Armenia created, implemented and developed a comprehensive system for providing community-based social healthcare services. It became to be rightfully viewed as a system that is unmatched by other alternatives, neither in public nor in social spheres. It enabled the elderly, the disabled people, refugees, temporary shelter holders and other vulnerable groups to receive a variety of social and healthcare services in their homes and communities tailored to their personal abilities and vital needs. We had a very good core team. Everyone came and joined us selflessly and with the help of those people we created our organization that aimed at helping and providing decent life to vulnerable groups. At that time we were engaged in different issues, but then we realized that only elderly people are in difficult conditions. Different people and organizations were helping orphans and refugees, however they didn't pay attention to the elderly. With this profound experience in working with vulnerable, the soup kitchens which operate through the project have a vital importance for the beneficiaries not only in Yerevan but also in some regions of Armenia. The menu of the cafeteria changes every day and is posted on the wall visible to all the visitors. Today's menu includes Armenian traditional harissa and soup with lentils. The beneficiaries do not only eat here but also talk to social workers about healthcare and social issues and get appropriate advice. Within the framework of the project, Disability Resource Movement gave rise to the establishment of a powerful organization. Today, each of them is convinced that he or she is not ignored and the needs are well tended through an engaging and well-trained team of Mission Armenia.